Welcome. Lutron ballasts are frequently controlled by either three-wire or ecosystem control methods. Knowing which one you have is an important detail needed for properly upgrading the fixtures to LED. This video will introduce three ways to identify if a fixture is powered by three-wire or ecosystem control. The three ways include looking at the control, looking at the panels, or looking inside the fixture. The first method to identify the ballast control type is the easiest. If you're looking at any of these wall box products, then you probably have a three-wire controlled fixture. If you have one of these controls, then you need more information to determine the control type, which we'll explain in the next method. When looking at the control on the wall, doesn't clearly indicate the control type being used, the next best step is to look at the Lutron control panel that the fixtures are wired to, such as these GP panels here. If your fixtures are controlled with GP panels, there is a good chance they're controlled with three-wire control. To confirm that, look at the wiring terminals for connections to the DH and SH terminals, as shown here. If there is a wire connected to both the DH and SH terminals, then your ballasts use three-wire control. If there are only wires connected to the DH terminals, then the ballasts are being controlled with neither ecosystem nor three-wire. You'll need to open the fixture and check the ballast model number to determine the control type being used. Your fixtures may be controlled by an LP, LCP, or CCP panel like this one. Or you might see a graphic eye that looks like one of these. The presence of one of these panels or controls may indicate a three-wire controlled ballast. To confirm, you need to check for interfaces such as these that may have been used to interface to the fixture. Remove the cover of the interface and look for the PHPM 3F model number. This indicates the fixtures are three-wire controlled. You may also see a similar looking device with a GRX FDBI model number. The presence of either of these indicate a three-wire controlled ballast. The final type of panel you may find is an energy saver node. If you see a QSN-1 ECO or QSN-2 ECO, as shown here, that indicates the ballasts are controlled via ecosystem. If your installation isn't described in one of the previous scenarios, it likely uses ballasts that are neither three-wire nor ecosystem. Move on to the next step to get the ballast model number. Also note that a typical lighting control installation involves many panels and sometimes even different ballast control types. Make sure the panels and circuits you're looking at are the ones controlling the fluorescent fixtures. The third and final method to identify the control method being used involves going up to the ceiling and looking inside the fixture at the ballast. So this is usually the least convenient approach. For our illustration purposes, we'll be using this fixture here. Once you remove the louver and ballast channel cover to expose the ballast, you'll need to look for the input wires. In this first case, we see three wires coming to the fixture. A black wire, white wire, and orange wire. This indicates the fixture is controlled with three wire control. Note that the exact color of the wiring may vary depending on your installation, but you're looking for three wires that connect to the ballast. Alternately, the ballast wiring may look like this, with a black wire, white wire, and two purple wires. This indicates the fixture is using ecosystem control. Again, the exact color of your wires may vary, but you're looking for four wires connecting to the ballast input. While you're in the fixture, it's a good idea to take note of the ballast model number. This is often helpful information during the upgrade process. In this video, we explained how to identify if the control method used in a fluorescent fixture is ecosystem or three-wire. The three methods we demonstrated were to look at the control on the wall, look at the control panel, or look inside the fixture. If none of these scenarios in this video apply to your installation, you may have a Lutron or third-party ballast 
that uses a control method other than three wire or ecosystem. Contact Lutron's 24-7 tech support line if you need assistance with these applications. Thank you for watching.